What's going on guys, Spartan Willy here and today I'm going to show you how to install and use the Motorsport Manager Save Game Editor for your Motorsport Manager game. Okay, so for this process you are going to need a program called WinRAR. So I'll put the link to this download page in the description below and just come here and download the relevant installer to you, whatever your language is and the bit of your computer is. Okay, so next up we're going to need to download the actual Motorsport Manager save game editor. So this link to the race department download page will be in the description below. So just click on that. You will need a free account for race department in order to download from their site. But like I said, it's free. So once you made your account or you signed into your account, just hit download there. And it will start in the bottom left down here. I've already downloaded it twice. That's why it's got a little two there. But you also just be installer zip. Okay, so I've just moved the installer to my desktop just for easier viewing. Um, but yours will be in your downloads wherever you said you want your downloads to go. But it comes in WinRAR, hence why we downloaded and installed WinRAR if we didn't already have it. So just double click to open it. It will come up in a little folder. It's going to try and get me to buy it and then continue to let me use it for some reason. Who knows, WinRAR things. But just click Setup Files and then there's an installer.msi Windows installer file in here. Double click on that. It will quickly extract it and it will bring up this Setup Wizard. So we're just going to go through it similar to WinRAR. Let's go Next and then here you can change your installation folder. I'm going to leave mine as the default. Uh, just in my C drive, even though I do it with an SSD, but it's it's a tiny file, so I'll just let it install to my SSD, and then just hit install. And now it'll ask you if, you won't be able to see this, but it'll ask us if you want to allow this app to make a change. You have to say yes, because it will install, install. There's nothing malicious about the software that I know of. Just hit finish, and then it will launch up Motorsport Manager Save Game Editor. Okay, so now that we've successfully installed our save game editor, I'm going to teach you a few tips on how to use it. So first of all, we're going to want to load our save file. Now, I highly recommend making a backup. You can do this in game by just saving as and just calling it, you know, save game backup. But if you just hit this load file button here, it'll bring up all your save files. I've made a bit of a, um, like a dummy safe that I don't play called Spartan Willie McLaren. So we're going to try and make McLaren an absolute super team. So I'm just going to go, click on it and go open. And it will work on opening up that save game. And there it is. So as you can see there, it's got my details um, as a manager just on the first page. But now we're going to go through each tab and sort of give you a rundown. Okay, so we may as well start on our manager tab here. It's got a player. So Spartan Willie is obviously the player I'm playing as. Um, and you can change anything, so your wage, your contract, your date of birth, you can even go further than the game lets you, so my birthday can actually be in the game, which is pretty interesting there, but um, add in your weight and stuff, if you, if you want your weight in the game, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, so basically it just sort of it lets you add, edit all your details as a player, just as first tab, you'd probably rarely use this unless you wanted to change your contract to be on a higher wage or, you know, for some reason. Okay, so moving on to the next tab here, team principles. We have all the team principles. I'm using the F1 2021 manager mod. If you'd like to know how to install that, I do a video on that it's in the top right right now. But yeah, we got all the real managers, uh, like the team principles, which is pretty sick. So if we click on Toto Wolf here, you can see it's basically the same as the player because we're the same role, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> we're the player, they're just the other team principles. So they, they even got like a background. So business, X driver, engineer, lead. Legal, uh, and you can change all their details if you want to. I mean, I don't really see the point in it. I guess you could get someone fired. Um, but yeah, that's always an option. So it gets every single team principal in the game. Okay, so moving on to the chairman tab now. And see there, I've just clicked on Lawrence Stroll just as an example. And these two parts are the exact same as our previous team principal one. But the chairman tab is where things get a bit different. So ultimatums generated this season is obviously how many ultimatums I've given the current team principle, so like get five points in the next race or else you're done. Cost focus, I assume that's how much they care about the money, how much they care about putting, so if you're losing lots of money in a race, they won't be happy with that, or if they don't care about money, then they don't care. And patience is how long they'll wait for good results. And player chosen expected champ position, this is if, like, if I went to Zach Brown, who's owner McLaren, I didn't actually choose a championship position with this save, um, but it would say like, fourth or whatever I wanted to choose and obviously chairman happiness so if you're about to get sacked you can jump in change this happiness to 100 and you won't get sacked until you ev eventually knock it back down to like 20. 
But yeah, there are some other uses for this engine that aren't so blatant cheating that we'll get into later. Okay, so this is where things start getting really exciting. So this is the engineers tab. Obviously these person and contract are the same, but here you can change engineer stats. So how much they contribute to certain parts of the car. So if you improve a part or if you build a part, I believe. I'm not 100% sure how those engineer stats work, but James Allison, who's obviously one of the top engineers, looks to be pretty good in all areas there. But the engineering components, we all know what they are. They're those things on the side where you can choose like a bonus component. So you sign different engineers and get different bonuses. Um, yeah, so you can change all that, which is really cool. You can change the stats and obviously the stuff that we could change before with the contract. If the wages are getting out of hand or something, you can reel it back in a little bit. But yeah, that is the engineer tab. Okay, so on to the mechanics now. So these are the mechanics that you assign your drivers. So if we just click on one here, James Irwin from Williams. As you can see there, they've got the mechanics stat. So you can change the concentration, leadership, pit stops, yeah, reliability, speed. So these are the guys that look to actually improve your parts. So depending on how fast or how much they work on the reliability and the total stats max, like an overall rating. Uh, the relationship with the driver, so you can change that. And of course, the bonuses that you can choose instead of your um, race trim and stuff. So your car condition drops slow with nurse or engine expert. As you see there, there's a massive, massive list of things that you can just change. Well, not that massive, but there's a list of things you can change. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty good to know if you want to have a bit of an experiment with different types of bonuses or stats. But yeah, we move on to the drivers now. Okay, this is where things get very interesting. So we can just click on a driver, like, I don't know, Daniel Ricciardo over here. Um, and we can change all his personal stats like the other ones. But now we go to the driver tab here. And there's the has been scouted. Obviously, I've scouted him because he's my driver. And the desired championship. So if a driver doesn't want to come to you, you can obviously switch that he can come to F2. So change that to 2. Uh, desired budget, how much money he sort of wants. How many wins a season, I think that would be. Desired wins. Um, I'm not 100% sure about all these, I'm just sort of going off what I'm guessing, but desired earnings and budget, I'm not really sure. But driver number, obviously, that's his driver number that he will use. Start of the season, expected position, so this is, seems to be a lot of hidden stats that you don't really see in the game, but where they want to be in the championship, how happy. So Ricardo wants to get fourth and fifth every race position. Uh, potential, modified potential, and now we go to the stats, and this is where things can get quite exciting. So if you want, you can change all these to just be 20. So just 20, 20, you know what I mean? So just make him completely maxed out, amazing driver. Uh, 20 on the feedback, why not? Uh, fame, I'm not really sure what fame is. Experience, 20. <laughs> I don't really know what the measurement units for all these are. But I know the focus, fitness, balance, um, breaking, adaptability, focus, fitness, those stats go up to 20. I'm not really 100% sure on the other stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is basically everything you can change. It's insane. There's so many stats. Marketability. I think the max for that is 1. Add scouting level smoothness. So we're just sort of doing up all these stats now. And we go down to personality traits. So obviously there are personality traits that you can get in the game on different drivers. And you can add in anyone you want. And now this is a massive list. Look at all these. Huge. So they're the permanent ones. You can also add in temporary ones. So these ones just hang around for a little bit. Uh, again, a big list. Very similar to the permanent ones. I think they're just permanent but temporary. And the contract. So you can buy out, split, person pays all. Change all the money that they're on and how long they're on the contract for. So change it to long if you want them for a long time. Again, you can have a lot of fun with these, just messing around with little numbers. Maybe you can find out what all these means. I'm not 100% sure, like I said. But yeah, that is basically the driver's tab. I'm sorry I couldn't be more of help with some of those stats, but the basic stats are there and the potentials and the desired championship, the stuff that you're definitely going to want to change if you're looking to maybe experiment with the game, we'll call it. Okay, so on to the second last tab here with team. Um, this is where all the teams in the game are. So we're going to click on McLaren because we want to edit them. And as you their team name, short name, reputation. So you can increase their reputation of the team, the marketability, the pressure, sound like pressures on the team, the fan base. Uh, you can make that bigger. Aggression, initial total fan base. So change that as well if you want. And obviously the drivers. So you can switch them out. 
So you can sort of switch them all around. So we can make, let's quickly switch a driver team here. Let's go. All right, let's say Nick and Hulkenberg here will go to Haas in replace of Mazepin. Transfer. So now Hulkenberg is now a driver for the Haas team and Mazepin is now a driver, the third driver for Aston Martin. I'm assuming that Hulkenberg's the third driver. Yeah, he is. So, you know, you can make little switches like that just to sort of test things out, see how drivers go in different teams. But um, moving on here, we're going to go design sensor. You can change the HQ. So current level. So three is obviously the max. You can't go much higher. But you can downgrade it if you want. I mean, I don't know why you do that. You can sort of just mess around with all these, you know, add a helipad if you'd like to. Uh, theme park, you know, it's, you can have a lot of fun with this. Now, this is where things get pretty good. So we're going to go down to car inventory here. And as you can see there, you can make your car as insane as you want. So this base stat here, we're going to change to, let's just make it two and a half thousand. And this car is going to be insanely fast. So I'll quickly explain how this works. So the base stat on the part is just the base stat. Now with the performance is how much you've worked on the performance. So if you add 33, the part in the game will actually be 2,533. So it sort of adds on to the base and then how much more you can improve it. So you can make this 80, 80, and then the reliability is from zero to one. So 0 0.3 would be 30% reliability, but 0 0.78 would be 78. So, on. so right now it's on 98%. If we make that just one, it'll be there like that. So that's 100% reliability and rules risk. There's no rules risk. You can obviously change that to like three and that'll be high. Um, but yeah, you don't really want to do that. You can remove risky parts if you want. Again, this is sort of if you want to make an experimental save. Obviously, you can still play the game legit. You have no obligation to use this. In the next tab is where you might be wanting to use it a bit more in a non-blatant cheating way, like I said earlier. But yeah, you could just go around to every single part and just make them absolutely insane if you wanted to. Just see how much you can break the game <laughs> just by zooming away. We'll have a look in a minute anyway at this ta at the... Um, performance of the car in the game you can also edit the finances so we can add let's make this um eight 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 just so you can see it in the game money for car development so how much money next year's car you know race payment so how much money you get a raise current budget so the available funds would be for the chairman and the current budget would be what yeah, the chairman has actually given you. I'm assuming, again, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'd love to check this out and make another video on it, but this is just sort of a brief tutorial of what I know about this thing. I haven't used it much. I've just sort of had a couple of saves where I've experimented on it. So yeah, you can go around in the car inventory and literally change everything. So they also have like the GT series parts, but obviously McLaren wouldn't have any of those because they are not a GT team. That is the team tab summarized. So a bit different to other tabs because obviously it's a an entity not a person okay so this is the last tab and this tab is a bit bugged for me so the championship tab it doesn't have any of the championship names this could be a mod thing i'm not 100 percent sure but there is still like the hyperlinks there so you can sort of just click on them and it comes up so i'm assuming the top one's formula one because they race at sydney first just have a look around yeah so Sydney, Bahrain, China, this is definitely going to be Formula 1, ends in UAE. Yeah, this is going to be Formula 1 here. So I've sort of already added in next year's rules because I wanted to use an example here. So you can obviously change next year's tracks. So you can change the circuit for next year, you can change the circuit layout, the week number, you can add more weeks. So you can make that 11, that 14, that 17. Spread the races out if you want to get more development done between races. Um, but yeah, you can change the country and stuff. Mine are a bit different because I've got a mod on. So obviously these, this is called Melbourne in the game to re um, reflect the real life circuit. But with next year's rules here, this is the example I want to use where... Sometimes the AI can vote in some ludicrous stuff. So say they vote in race sprinklers and you have this long-term five-season save going on. And you really don't like the idea of race sprinklers. It could be game-breaking to you. So in next year's rules here, you can just click on it and just hit delete on your keyboard. Gets rid of it. So then you can sort of save your save if a really ludicrous rule comes in. Again, open to the change. If that probably happened in my game, I'd give it a season. If I really didn't like it, I'd probably delete it. All right, so I'm just gonna make a couple changes and I'm gonna show you how to save it and then we'll look at it in the game at our changes. So we're gonna make all these 20 of our guy. So our stats are all gonna be through the roof and we'll be pretty 
badass as a team principal. If we go to drivers, yeah, I want to make one more driver switch. One that the fans, some fans have been hoping for. I don't really, I don't really mind either way. But we're going to go with George Russell here. And Team Williams, Mercedes, person replace Lewis Hamilton. So Lewis Hamilton will now be driving at Williams, George Russell at Mercedes in this crazy, crazy world. So now there's, I've also made all McLaren's car inventory insane at 2,500. So McLaren will literally race away at the start and we'll never see them again unless we get lapped. Well, well we are McLaren, but we'll never see anyone else again. I've also added in a theme park at McLaren, so we'll have a look at that as well. We've got a couple things to look out for and make sure all the changes worked in the game. And now we're just going to go in the top here, go file and go save as. And now we're going to call this McLaren cheat. Like so, and now we'll open up the Motorsport Manager and load that game. Okay, so we're just in the game here and straight away you can see our car is best on grid. It would just be no contest. Oh, it seems like I've missed the high-speed corners there, so I've changed it all but the rear wing. So we've got an insane car everywhere else but the rear wing, which is fine. We can see at the top here that our 888 available budget went through as well. If you have a look at our player stats, they're all 20 as well, which is great to see. So they're all worked. Um, if we go to driver here, because I'm pretty sure we changed Daniel Ricciardo's stats as well. Yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20. That, they're all, I didn't miss one there. I was worried I was going to miss one. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's already one of the best drivers on grid, if not the best. But, yeah, that is interesting. So, targets for the season, we're going to go second. But I'm pretty sure if I played this season for the whole 23 races, we'd win it. You know, just a, just a feeling I have. Now, let's have a look at the standings here. Just at the quick driver switches that we did. Uh, Lewis Hamilton is driving for Williams. Now, obviously, when I said drivers, uh, fans want to see Russell at Mercedes, not Lewis at Williams as such. But, yeah, that's what I meant. But, yeah. So, if we go down to where's Russell, we'll have a look at him, too, in his new seat at Mercedes. How exciting. And Nico Hulkenberg should be on the grid in the Haas. Where is he? There's too many names here. Uh, Haas. Let's just go here. There he is. Nico Hulkenberg, age 34. Replacing Mazepin, who is going to be a stand, a third driver for Aston Martin. There he is. Okay, so I just built up a quick race here. And as you can see here, the cars are in another level. This is at the end of lap one. Norris is out pumping Ricardo, and Ricardo's out pumping everyone else. So just sort of turn the tires down. I don't know why I'm actually managing it, but you know what? It's fine. And as you see there, I do actually have the extended camera and enhanced graphics mod. So if you want to learn how to install that one, the extended camera, it's in the top right right now. And the enhanced graphics will be in the description as well. So yeah, that is that. So we've made McLaren an absolute beast. I'm surprised Ricardo's not leading. He had a terrible start to the race. But it looks like he might catch Norris. But anyway, I hope this video helps you out. I'm sorry I could be more helpful in some parts with some of the um, sort of options to edit. But hopefully it helps you out enough to get at least a general grasp on the save game editor. If you're still watching now, you're an absolute champion, and I hope you have lots of fun with the save game editor, because there is a lot of potential there for I have an absolute ball experimenting with this amazing game. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. If did, please leave a like and subscribe. consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.